uh, that we've talked about the, the, you know, the trust between police and the journalists. But the journalists are also faced with trust between themselves or uh, us and, you know, the public. Uh, you know, the, the, there is an atmosphere of this is fake news, that is fake news, and all that. I mean, w what considerations are you making as far as our coverages are concerned? We've taken a number of steps or mm -hmm. measures to ensure uh, accurate dis uh, dis uh, dissemination of information and also to ensure that uh, whatever the media put out there um, is not just uh, any information but has been fact-checked and uh, it's credible. And how are we doing? And we are, yes, we are, we are doing that by working uh, journalists. We have been doing what we call TOT, uh, training of trainers, mm. training of trainers, working journalists or key journalists through what we call fact check, debunking, misinformation, disinformation, and all that. But in, now, in, in, in our coverage, how would you say that journalists are performing? What's your, what would be I your think, assessment? I think, I mean, if you allow me to answer the question, mm. other than that, we will always jump to another question. So uh, through this training, um, we are building the capacity and the professional uh, competencies of journalists to understand how to even fact check information and all that. Because we are in this country where... Um, uh, people will repackage or re will rehash uh, maybe information in 2020, 2016, 2012, and then we'll still post it as if it's current information. How do you fact check it? You know, the, the currently uh, our uh, sister or sister organization, our partner, uh, Media Foundation for West Africa, has launched the fact check uh, coalition and all that. We, we are training, in fact, recently we have done, we have had training, nationwide training with the US Embassy on journalists for peaceful discourse. Mm -hmm. And one of the issues we dealt with is how to ensure that we put credible information out there, how to fact check, and how to deal with disinformation and misinformation. And also we just did one with the Spanish embassy, which ended just last week, uh, two-day training on fact checking, mm -hmm. misinformation, and all that. As we speak now, we are going to do another issue with the electoral commission and on electoral reporting uh, mm, and I all see. that. Now, with the issue of fact check, we know the fake, the fake news and all that mostly comes from the new media. So, you know, we find ourselves uh, in an environment where digitization and digitalization is at its peak. In fact, mm -hmm. it's it really, it's really uh, uh, coming up stronger. And this is actually placing the traditional media under siege. And so, uh, but what is making the traditional media or the mainstream media more prominent, more powerful, and more credible is the fact that people can now fall, can still fall on the traditional or the mainstream media for credible information. You know there are these um, non-existent websites, so to okay. speak, okay. Uh, that will use our faces, our voices, uh, our, our programs to tell stories of about politicians, politicians, which has happened to me. Yes, yes. But these things never, never happened. Of course. But people will read those stories and believe, and believe them. That. We don't know who those people are. How do we combat such a situation in, in, in an atmosphere of elections? So, so I, think that, I think that this is the only thing to do one, is training sensitization and also to make sure that we actually do that is why fact check has become very important if we the media because like i said we represent the the, the voices we represent the, the 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 years and the mouth of the citizen and so that if we the media especially those in the mainstream media we the professionals mm -hmm. in the mainstream media or the traditional media discharge our work professionally and ethically and we are able to encourage citizens as to how and where to what to fact check your news or stories. Mm -hmm. I think it will help in keeping some of these things. Now, again, we are also encouraging um, is it the uh, the the SCA, mm -hmm. other electronic is it the cyber the cyber program and all that other people in the digital space to help us at least uh, approve some of this some of this we are seeing right. uh, ghost. Uh, uh, platforms and or box stories. Uh, box stories and all that. It is very important. But the reason we try to breach or we have brought them, we have drawn them closer mm. to us is the fact that we want them to also start 
um, understanding the ethics of the profession. We, we are helping them with training and building their capacities so that if, even though you are blogging, even though you are doing your own thing, make sure that you are guided by, the, by this ethics. Make sure that you don't, you don't put, you don't put, mm. you don't put out there what we call uh, false reportage or unchecked uh, information. So make sure that every information you put out there has been fact-checked, you understand, mm -hmm. and it is accurate and all that. So we, we, we are giving them that training I mean, so that they will be able to, will be able to keep that yellow journalism. In fact, for, for the social media space or the new media space, it's, 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 it's causing, it's wrecking a lot of, a lot of havoc, mm. not only in Ghana, mm. in most countries. But what we need to do is that we need to just, as a, as a mainstream media, to be up to the task. That is why now the mainstream is also found on the new media. Because whatever we're doing here, I hope you'll be streaming, doing the show, because there are a lot of, the, the, when you look at the research, a report available to me indicates that the youth, about 20, 27 to 35% of the youth are glued to the new media. Some do not even watch TV at all. Which, which means that that will be really important yes. during our election of coverage. Of course. I see. But, but I mean, away, away from the issues around new media and traditional media.